What's up, y'all? I wanted to invite you into my closet so I can show you some of my shoes. Yeah. So today, I'm going to let you take a walk in my shoes. Check out some of my shoes. Let you know why I like certain shoes so much and uh, how I got started buying shoes. So I'm not a collector. Let me just make sure you understand that. I just like sneakers. So I think it all started back in the day, you know, growing up in the Bronx. You know, um... Well, what were my first pair of sneakers that I could remember? I think it was like Nike Cortez. They were like the blue with the white stripe. And um, as I got older in junior high, everybody was wearing Air Force Ones. So, you know, I was in junior high a long, long time ago. So before, before Nelly came out with them, before ASAP Rocky, you know, made them popular again in New York, we used to rock them back when I was in junior high. So back in the day, moms, moms, moms was a hustler. She made it happen. So moms kept me fresh. So I always got new sneakers. And uh, when I was in junior high, one of my homeboys, his his peoples were hustlers, like real hustlers. Like this dude was coming to school in junior high with like sixteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars. Yo, he used to look out for me. I used to buy mad sneakers. He used to buy mad sneakers or whatever. And that's when it kind of started. When I was just like. Every week I started buying another pair of sneakers back in junior high. As I got older, I didn't have to connect like that no more. So I was really working, I had to pay bills. So my sneaker game kind of slowed down. So it became like almost like a once a month thing, you know. And as I got older, got into the TV game, started making a little more money, I got back at it. So now here we are, you know, um, I have a range of shoes from dress shoes, Ferragamos to Jordans. I have a lot of Jordans. I love Jordans. I probably got over 100, 200 pairs of Jordans. Um, I love running sneakers. I got a few pair of Yeezys. Uh, one of my favorite... No, I'm going to show you a throwback shoe. A shoe that I've had over 10 plus years. Now, this is an old school Prada sneaker. Old. Super old school. But look at the condition. I got a little dust on it. Don't trip. But these joints is clean. Back in the day, look at look at the laces, still fresh. So I had those probably, shit, I might have had these over 15 years. And I could still fit them. I do plan on wearing them one day, you know what I mean? I might throw them on with a pair of army fatigue pants with a little, you know, funky t-shirt or something. You know, like, nowadays things don't have to match. Like, you don't have to be so matchy. But, um, you know, as you get older, older people, you know how we do it. We want the complete sweatsuit with the matching sneakers. So here's another pair of sneakers that I really love. These are some Gucci sneakers. If you remember, Jay-Z came out with his sneaker and it looked kind of like this one. This definitely inspired Jay sneaker, but this is a classic Gucci sneaker. Most East Coast New York cats is, uh, is definitely rocking those. I'm gonna show you a shoe that my daughter got me to get, you know, I don't know. This was a little risque right here, but uh, these right here, these are actually, what they, Raph Simmons? So it's by Adidas. Kayla had them first, then we were in London um, we took a trip to London, Paris, and Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, we turned up a little bit. Everybody's on me about hanging out with my daughter. So when we went to London, we went to a club that had burlesque dancers. It wasn't strippers. Everybody just thought I had my daughter at a strip club. But we had, we've gone to a strip club before. We live in Atlanta. My daughter's 24 years old. She'll be 24. She's grown. I don't know why everybody was tripping, but... You know, that's Atlanta culture for you, but I'm from New York. So anyway, yeah, these, these babies right here, you know, I dress them up, dress them down. You know what I'm saying? I wear them with all black, black leather jacket, like a little motorcycle jacket, black tee, black jeans, you know, throw these on. They always look clean, you know. I might do twinsies with my daughter. We might wear these together. I'm going to hit her up. She's in New York right now. She's doing her fashion thing. So these are, these are cool, uh, added to the collection. They're a little different, you know, they're a little different. One of my real go-to sneakers that i like are these these are classics so once again i'm not a collector because if i was a collector i'd be like these are the jordan fours or sevens i don't know all of that stuff i just know i like these joints i grew up on these joints and that's the thing about jordans you know a lot of the kids are like ah y'all too old for jordans we grew up with these sneakers these are sneakers from our time period you just kind of getting you know we we saw the first run of them this is probably run 87 of these sneakers so we seen these when they first came out back in the day yeah and i think that's what happens you know with a lot of cats from the hood as you get older and you get successful you start buying all the sneakers you couldn't afford back in the day you know what i'm saying you start reliving those dreams and being fresh with them you know as you get older these right here so i guess these men have been released a couple of times so i love these but it's so funny that i just got i actually just got a pair today not those. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm finding. So yeah, not the same shoe, 
but similar this one has the 23 on it so people would be like why would you buy the same shoe over sometimes you buy them over again because as you can see you know they start to discolor down at the bottom the rubber and all of that and i really don't know how that works i don't know how to clean them for me these look clean enough so i still will rock them but you know if you look at that rubber super clean it's not turning yellow or anything so i had to get them again and then right now what i'm really on a lot are like the dunks so this style Jordan right here, because these are easy. I could throw a pair of jeans on, button up. They still look cool. They're not doing too much. They're not a big bulky shoe, and it looks kind of cool. So I got these in a couple of colors just recently. There goes some purple and black ones. And you don't have to go crazy with it. You can just throw on a pair of nice jeans, a white button up, roll up your sleeves. If you got a nice watch, even if you don't have a nice watch, Whatever you got, you know, roll up your sleeve, show you a little watch piece. So yeah, so the Dunk Jordans, I'm really into those right now. Now shoes that Ace and I have alike. So me and Ace have Vans. Uh, we have a few pair of Vans that are the same. Actually, Ace has, Ace has these. He has a few pair of these Dunks that are the same as mine. Ace also has these. He has some classics. Ace right now has, 23 pair of shoes. It's a lot for a young boy because he's gonna grow out of them in two seconds But I think it goes back to that guilty thing of when I was young. I didn't have it So now I'm like you gonna have everything that I wanted back in the day or whatever I just bought him 11 more pair of sneakers for his next size since they were all available because a lot of times you get It's hard to get these shoes You'll go in you need a size 11 and kids and it's sold out or you know because everybody's out there trying to buy them So if I can get them ahead of time, I'll just buy them and just let them sit so right here, here's a pair that Ace just bought to me. Like, these are funky. Like, I would wear them if they had them in my size. Yeah, so these is cool. So we got Blaze coming up. Uh, Kayla loves sneakers. Riley. Riley styles a little more the high-end shoe. Like, she likes a lot of the, the Louis Vuitton, the Fendi, and stuff like that. I have a couple of the high-end shoes. Ace wants his shoe back. Come get it, boy. Take your shoe. Okay. All right. Yeah, so Riley's more into the high, high-end shoes. Kayla is too. She likes the high-end brands. She also wears Jordans. For me, I'm cheap. So if a shoe is... So so think this. Gu this is a Gucci sneaker. So I love this because it's plain. I could wear this. It's a classic. I could wear this forever. They'll buy shoes that's popping and the colors are crazy. And you could wear them for a season or, you know, after they play out, it's kind of hard, you know, to really rock them. But... I like to stick with like the classics if it's going to be something like a Gucci or a Fendi or you know those type of sneakers. And then I'm cheap. So before I'm going to spend 2000 on a pair of sneakers, I'm going to give me like eight pair, uh, eight pair of Dunks or you know three pair of Jordans or whatever before I buy one pair of high end shoes. Uh, so Blaze is coming up next. Yeah, I'm going to pass the addiction down to her as I should. You know what I mean? If I can... If I can afford it, I'm definitely going to make sure our shoe game is right. My thing with shoes, I think a lot of women do this as well. So fellas, ladies out there, as long as you got a dope pair of shoes, outfit don't really matter. Like you could just throw on some, like I shop at like Zara, <laughs> H&M. I shop at the little cheap spots, but I'm a little dude too. For me, I throw on like a cool pair of jeans, you know what I mean? No no crazy logos and stuff on them. Kind of just, you know, something that looks clean, crisp, crisp shirt. It could be like a nice button up, roll my sleeves up, nice watch, you know, my little jewelry. I don't do all the big jewelry. That's not really my thing. I would have a nice haircut, but y'all know I'm in quarantine. So I just think there's a clean look you can do in your shoe game. As long as your shoe game is right, you're killing them. So you don't need a $1,000 outfit. $200 pair of sneakers, $30 for the jeans, $15 for the shirt. You fresh. You fresh. You fresh. And then my wife, you know, her shoe game, her shoe game is tough because she's all into the heels and, you know, candy. She got, I don't know how many pair of heels she has, but uh, I get her a couple of pair of Jordans here and there. She don't really wear the sneakers that much. I'm trying to get her back because that's where she started before this housewives thing. And then when she went to housewives, she had to feel like we all got to wear heels because these ladies is taller than me. But I'm going to get her right, get her back into the game. And if you saw my birthday when I was 45. <laughs> the Jordan 45 and everybody had to wear Jordans so none of the women could wear heels so we had like you know kind of chill sneaker party this is the jersey I wore for my birthday 45 when I turned 45 and uh, just made everybody wear Jordans or whatever so it's all about dressing down being comfortable but you can be fresh while you are comfortable that's a little walk in my shoes yeah and make sure you subscribe to my channel um, if there's anything you want me to touch on, talk about, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you back to my closet when I get a few more pair of sneakers that you check out what I got coming next.